We're going to turn now to our next guest. He is a platinum recording solo artist and founding member of hip hop's iconic Wu Tang Clan. The legendary storyteller, <laughs> lyrical mastermind, and pioneer of hip hop culture is out now with a new memoir titled Staircase to Stage The Story of Raekwon and the Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> And he is here now, the man himself, Raekwon the Shelf. Young fella, it is good to have you here with us. Congrats uh, on the book. But man, it, there is not a single list out there of greatest hip hop rap groups of all time that does not have you guys maybe number one, if not number two, if not number, you all are just <laughs> one of the absolute greats. There's a consensus. What was, what was on you. your mind? Did you ever think of what was possible when you were writing rhymes in Staten Island? You know what? I did think that a book would have been possible, but it was just all about the timing. And in this book, Raekwon, you talk about everything. And you talk about some dark times, specifically about uh, suffering four gunshot wounds that mm. you say actually led to helping you in the creative process. Explain how that went. Well, you know, just, just being in a situation where, you know, I got accidentally shot. You know, I had a lot of thinking time on my hands. Um, I started to think about my my future, started to sit back and say to myself, I need to figure out some things, figure out who I am, where I'm going. And I always loved music. So I remember a lot of great friends used to tell me that I had a lot of potential with being an artist. And, you know, you don't really realize things until, I guess, tough times hitting, you got time to reflect. and. It was just something that I had to make a decision. I had to talk with my family, and they was like, yeah, you need to really just, you know, change your direction on where you're going because this was a wake-up call. And um, I just decided to get myself together and start focusing on more positive things. We've been waiting four years hmm. uh, for some music from you, and it's coming in 2022, Scarlet Fever. Tell us what we can expect. Oh, um, yes, this is my new album coming up. It's called Scarlet Fever. Um, it's another chapter from me. You know, a lot of people know Raekwon make a lot of classic music, a lot of classic albums. But it's just going to be your next step of Raekwon's growth and development. Um, a lot of good songs, storytelling. I love to tell stories. Um, just real hip hop. Just me really getting busy and Happy to be back in the business doing what I do best. You know, I love I love making music and I just love doing what I do. So get ready for a nice album. A nice <laughs> Pray quad, man, it is good to see you. Congrats on everything. And again, for many of us who've uh, certainly followed your career and followed uh, Wu-Tang for many, many years and our fans, man, it's an absolute pleasure. So you take care. We'll see you down the road, all right? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Man, you can see Raekwon on tour now. Look out for the new album, Scarlet Fever, in 2022. Pick up from Staircase to Stage, wherever books are sold now. One of my favorite running shirts is my Wu-Tang shirt. Yeah. Is it really? They came around here and gave us some, some swag, and so I love running. I feel cooler when I'm running with it. I don't think it probably makes me cooler, but I feel it in It's my hard head. for you to get much cooler yeah. than oh, you yeah, already yeah, are, yeah. Ropes. <laughs> that was a compliment. Thank it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.